Alright, so I've determined that it's really super frustrating recording anything in this game. I have done a total of four runs so far, only one of which I was able to actually successfully record. Unfortunately, and I'm not counting the zeroth run, that was just, just because I could. But, uh, yeah, this OBS is not being very happy with me, and I really wish I could actually use Fraps like I'm used to, but Fraps is crap. And by that I mean it causes this game to crash. My win streak, look at it, negative two, that doesn't even make any sense. Whatever. But yeah, I've unlocked a few things in the meantime. A few characters, some items, you know, the, the works. Uh, I'm really sad you guys missed the boss rush I did, but that was just like... Just, just cause like... It was just silly and fun. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, the, epi the second episode I recorded was a Lazarus run, and it went... It was really, really entertaining, but uh, wasn't actually recording for some stupid reason. In fact, you know what? Just to make sure, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go check and see. Yeah, this is actually recording. Thankfully, but I need to do a thing here real quick. Hold on. There we go. A little bit less. Yeah, that's probably good. Audio balancing. You get, yeah, you know the works. I'm gonna play as Kane. Kane is a classic, Kane is awesome, and uh, yeah, this, we're gonna have a good time, hopefully. And immediately a sacrifice room, I do not care. Let's see if I can play this well and not do as poorly as the last, I guess, recorded run. I mean, the last two runs I did that didn't actually record, I was playing actually pretty well, and things were going well, relatively speaking. But, you know, you guys don't get to watch it, and I don't get to go back and check it out again, because friggin' blah, 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 you and your slidey ways. Cut that out. Money, a bomb. A bomb might come in handy, maybe. I mean, bombs tend to come in handy. I should have walked faster. Okay, we're good. Eh, so far so good. I mean, it's only been a few rooms. I'm very surprised I didn't get hit there. Back to full health, that's nice. These things... These things, I dislike these things. And they're extremely tall, long-legged counterparts. I don't like them at all. Okay, so that uh, bomber key might actually be worthwhile. Given that I have exactly twice as many bombs as keys currently. Let's check out this thing. Oh, these guys, this is the first time I've seen them, actually. Even in the... Uh, God damn it, that was awful. Even in the unrecorded runs. They're not particularly intimidating, I must say. Gave me a half heart, so I'm exactly back to full health again. And we get the poop? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it gave me the poop as my as my item. I was about to continue berating the poop, but then it gave me a nickel immediately, so uh Never mind, Poop, you're pretty you're pretty swell. Not not really, but you're more swell than you were before. There's no reason to grab those to access the poop. You know what? I'm gonna check the secret room, because I have two bombs. And we found it. Contains a couple keys. I am totally okay with that. I was gonna bomb for this thing, but now there really isn't a point, is there? Duke of Flies. Gee, I wish I could do something to make this fight a little bit faster. But no. I mean, I guess I could toss the one bomb I have in there. But this is going decently well so far. A little over, a little over half health. Actually, that's probably almost exactly half of the Duke's, the Duke's health down. All that alliteration. <laughs> that alliteration causes me to take damage. I wonder how much alliteration I can fit into one sentence. Too much, obviously. I mean, the best I've ever come up with is please pardon this terrible. What is it? What is. Never mind. I lost my train of thought, and I don't know what this is. Latch key, lock up. And it gave me a couple keys and a soul heart. Okay, I am pretty much set for keys now. For a while, I think. Move on to basement two. Yeah, there's an arcade immediately. I might want to investigate that, actually. Because I know that arcades take a bunch of different forms nowadays. Uh, there's no reason to invent to go in there for that. 
try out the poop just in case. Yeah, so this is a classic arcade. And I got a nickel out of another poop. The poops are being very kind to me this run. I am Kane, so I can't act, so I have a significantly greater chance of winning at uh, gambling. I'm going to do I'm gonna, I am actually going to gamble for a bit specifically because I am Kane. It's going to go well. I mean, there is blood bank there I can use, which I've already got a minimum 3 plays on it. I could go access all those poops in that one other room and using my last bomb and have five plays. But yeah, I am totally going to do this. Really, it would probably behoove me to actually go beat the boss and uh, see if I can't get myself a deal with the devil first, given that I actually have a soul heart to work with. But I'm not actually losing that much in terms of money. Alright. It is actually worthwhile to play this a bit. Really, my, my reasoning right now is literally just because I can. And some keys. I'm up, to fi I'm up to 16 cents, too, which is enough to visit the shop and see what it's got. So yeah, should be okay. Another half heart, another play on a blood bank. I would actually be totally okay with uh, just straight up replacing this space bar item, the poop. Okay, so I don't know what this thing is. Looks like a bloated fly. Big fan, fat protector. Oh, it's a really huge, really slow orbital. And there is a tinted rock in there that I cannot access because I cannot fly. Oh, look at all the little adorable poops. I'm going to murder them. It's going to be funny. Okay, I'm really not sure if funny is the right word, but you know what I mean, right? Hilarious. Uh, joyous. That doesn't really make any sense either. Okay. More money, more, uh, more bombs. And it's an eye blob. They're called eye blobs, I think. Rare creature. So I'm guessing that this insanely slow orbital doesn't actually damage enemies other than flies, so it's... It's more akin to, like, um... Crap, what was it called? Why can't I not, Why can I not remember what it's called? Uh, Halo of Flies. My, my luck with the poops, and just kind of stuff in general, has been exceptionally good. Monstro, okay. Alright, so yeah, that thing is just a really, really huge orbital. I'm guessing it's, yeah, like, like I was saying, it's probably um, a, a better comparison than like the cube of meat, per se, would be uh, the Halo of Flies. I'm guessing it kills flies and blocks tears, but doesn't actually damage other enemies. Oh, never mind. That's doing some damage. I am mistaken. Okay. And that was really awful. Hey, look, an Eternal Heart. I get the box. Contains stuff. Happy to see the troll bomb. What are you? Whipworm. Oh, this is one of those uh, worm things. So how do I... I did not want to do that. I forget what the, what the key is to dump my pockets, because I... This thing looks like it just increases the shot, my shot speed to an exceptionally great degree. Lemon party. Wish I'd known about that sooner. Alright, well let's investigate this. That is Guppy's hairball, I believe. I wonder if they made it any better. Well, in the interest of taking things and experimenting. That is an eternal heart, which I'll come back for. I'll grab that on my way out. Yeah. See, I... I really want to play more of that blood bank, but it's going to be extremely tedious given that I only have one red heart container right now. Like, it's totally doable, but it's going to be slow as hell. I'm not really looking forward to that. Yeah, this is de this this trinket here is definitely a shot speed upgrade. Oh, 
Ow. You jerk. I keep forgetting that those things can shoot at me. That is the battery, which I might as well take. I guess. I mean, it's gonna make me, give me the ability to, to, to poop more often, I guess. And put some more money into the donation machine, because why not, right? But yeah, this is, this is gonna be super mega slow going. I'm doing it though. I need the HP, I need the blood bag. Plus I haven't actually gotten it yet, so it would, you know, add to my collection. And I guess the money doesn't hurt either. I suppose that was way too far and I'm not paying attention. I wish I could get into that tinted prop right there. That'd be really nice. Oh well, what can you do, right? Uh, is it really worth it? Is it is is it really worth it? Probably not. I'll do it, I guess. Is it this button? I'm trying. I'm seriously trying to remember what the button was to dump my pockets. I just can't remember. A couple more pennies. Back up to fifteen cents, so I can visit a shop on the next floor. I swear, that tinted rock is just laughing at me. It's just haunting me. That is bothering me so much. Um, I suppose I can also look for the secret room, can't I? It wouldn't hurt anything. Maybe these rocks here take two bombs to, act to break through or something. Or they are just completely invincible. Never mind. Okay, if the secret room isn't there, I seriously don't know where it would be. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Huh, maybe it's down here? Seems ex really... It totally is. What? That makes sense somehow. Totally. Absolutely. And hey, more money. Because I, I needed that. I really, really needed that. Oh, uh, whatever. I am definitely gonna gamble a bit. Because I really want that blood bag. Are you a wizard? Um, no. And you're stupid. Explosive diarrhea! Oh god. Oh god. That was unpleasant. That was extremely unpleasant. Broken remote. It's broken. God damn it. There goes the blood bank. Oh well. I'm gonna gamble a bunch. I'm gonna do it. I cannot believe that just happened. Friggin' explosive diarrhea. Is that, did I get a pretty fly? Is that what that was? Amnesia? Oh no, now I can't see the map. What a shame. But yeah, I'm only going to go down to the 15 cents. Uh, I would rather have the moon card, I think. Which is just a free teleport to the uh, to a secret room. Alright, well that was, that was pretty dumb. <laughs> pretty dumb. I'll take this thing, head down to the next floor. At least I'm back to Kane's uh, base health. Which is nice, I guess. What's in here? The magnet. For the collection. And then I'll just teleport to the secret room. Because <laughs> I'm a cheater. Alright, so I heard you can actually blow these, these guys up. Let's try it. Yeah, it totally works and it gave me some spiders. That's unpleasant. Oh. I, I don't want to be fighting these things. Ow. Well, you know, it's good at least that those turrets right there are such that they only fire in one particular direction. By the way, I'm... I really do apologize for my... Okay, safety cap. This is good given that I'm Kane. But I really do apologize for my horrible congestion and allergies and stuff. I feel pretty bad about it, but there isn't, like, there isn't much I can do. 
Robo baby. Sure. Sure thing. Ah. Okay. Alright, well, unfortunately, I am now down to red hearts again. But the safety cap allows me to, um, encounter more pills, which is good, because I am Kane. Kane's interaction with pills is such that they can only be good or neutral, because he starts with the luck foot. So, pills are more valuable for Kane than for most other characters, by default. Of course, you know, other characters can easily get the luck foot, finding it in item rooms or whatnot. But still, what are you? Puberty. Well, I guess that is as neutral as it comes, given that it does literally nothing. I'm not going back in there. Let's see, there's a heart lying around. That would require... I'm not going to do that. I was going to visit the curse room. If I... Oh my god, that was really awful. God damn it. If I encounter another um, red heart lying around, two of them now that I've taken such stupid damage, then I will visit the, the thing. That is an empty jar. I don't know what it is. What are you? The jar. Save your life. Well, I'll buy the pill, obviously. Just luck up, which doesn't save your life? What? That is really weird. I think I think this is an item that I saw in one of the uh, one of the development blog posts, but I don't remember exactly what it does. Uh, it has something to do with hearts, I can tell you that much. Guppy's hairball. Do some damage. Why not? That did a lot of damage, goodness. Okay, so so far, my prospects here really aren't all that swell. I may have to go back and bomb for those uh, two half red hearts down there. If I want to survive. Yeah, I got a black heart though. Well, I will. Well, not no, wait. I was going to say, well, I'll get it soon, but then I actually got it, so we're good. Put those out in case the fires had anything, and... Oh, okay, that was dumb. Alright, well, let's fight Chubb, I guess. It's basically impossible that I get a devil room at this point, but... I was trying to see there if I could get Guppy's hairball to do like a ton of damage. Ah. Oh wow. And the pentagram. I'm okay with that. So that's a, that right there, it's a straight up one damage upgrade. And it gives me a higher chance to get double rooms. Oh, stepping over interesting. It actually has a visual effect now. What was I going to do? There was something I was going to do. Down this way, I think. Oh, right, the curse room. Sorry, my mind is kind of kind of sort of all over the place right now. This should work. Yeah, so that... So the whole... I am apparently carrying extra red hearts in the jar. What a lovely curse room. It contains spiders. Yay. How exciting! Truly. I got a bomb for it. Oh, so it just stores excess red hearts, and then you can use them all at once, I bet. I wonder if it has a cap. Like a limit. Because this is that would potentially be an extremely good item. I'm seeing that a lot in a lot of stuff in Rebirth, a lot of the new things, potentially extremely good. Potentially like hella crazy overpowered, but whatever. Okay, I had enough money to get an arcade to spawn, so... What the fuck are those things? 
Oh god, they look so scary. They're not particularly frightening, but they look scary. I found pills. Man, the pill rotation in this run is so amazing. Like, seriously. It's so amazing that I don't even have to be sarcastic. See, it's funny because I'm being sarcastic. Ah. Okay, you guys, you're you're a pretty funky dude. I've been letting Robo Baby do a lot of work because, because you know, infinite range shots. Like, wait, do those little chub things block? Okay, I'm stupid. <laughs> Thinking out loud causes me to die. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'll just start again. And it immediately starts with these things. Go away. I do not like you. That's right, be dead. What is... Proptosis, short-range mega... Oh yeah, short-range mega tears. These again. Okay. I'm okay with that. This could be good. This, th that is a very good first item to get. Now I'm just kind of imagining this with Polyphemus. Ooh. It would give me chills if it weren't so... I didn't mean to take that. If it weren't so damn hot in this room. Alright, and see here, the interesting thing about it is that Kane starts with a base range that's lower than most characters, so... Short range doesn't mean too much. Alright, I'm in the I Am Error room now. Yay! That is totally exactly where I wanted to be. And I'm not being sarcastic. Fuck up, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the temperance thing here. Because I can play it a few times, just based on what there is around in here. Blood bag. Wait. So for those of you who don't know, the I Am Error room is a thing that can have... It can occur sometimes, when like randomly when you use the telepill spill. Can I blow you up? I totally can, and it gives me spiders. Alright, well there's nothing else to do here. So yeah, you do that, and you're, you're trapped. Unless you can teleport out, there's nothing you can do. I Am Error Room could... It has potential to be really cool, but most of the time it's just kind of a pain. Juicy sack. Sticky babies. Okay. That's really freaking creepy. Oh no, no, I did that to myself. Damn. That's okay, though. I have a fair amount of expendable uh, transient hearts to work with. Should be fine. Should be fine. Emphasis on should, I guess. Hey, oh, breaking one of those poops with the eternal fly around it actually was was actually like worthwhile for once. Nothing. Okay. And there's a red heart just lying around, which is fine, I guess. Oh man, I have four bombs, so this is not necessarily a bad idea. At the very least, a bomb for six cents is a very good trade. I mean, if you were to say buy a bomb in a shop, it would be worth less than six cents. So technically bombing for six cents is a good idea. Another pill? It's cool with me, I'm Kane after all. I can see forever? Um, I am intrigued. I can see forever, and I don't understand what this has done. I think that was the whole floor, actually. Yeah. So does it just, like, temporarily temporarily let you see these things? Lucky rock, there's something inside it. I do not know what that means. I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing, because I'm s Whoa! Okay, I have officially really like Lucky Rock now. Holy crap. 
I wonder if it only gives you pennies or if there's a chance for it to be like nickels and dimes. Oh, I have no keys, right? Dang it. You, give me a key. That is not a key, you suck. <laughs> Alright, well that's... That's an interesting discovery. Monstro. Should not be a problem with these friggin' mega tears. Look at this! Monstro is just gone? Just poof dead, destroyed. I got cat of nine tails. This is actually really good. Holy crap, this is really good. And this is that one... Has the one... Wealth, but at what cost? I don't... I honestly don't know exactly what that means, but whatever, right? Now, I'm really glad to have found a lot of pills pretty early on in the run. Identifying them soon is... Look at how big these tiers are. This is ridiculous. That is a stone chest? Does that require bombing to access it? Huh. Even at a distance, when the tiers have lessened in power, I can still destroy things. Okay, this is just a series of excellent things going on. Parasite has appeared in the basement, that's cool. Tears down. Wait, I'm Kane. Why did I just get a tears down? Yo. I have the luck foot, I shouldn't get tears down. Red patch. I think Lucky Rock is still better. And I I really don't think I want Dead Cat. What on earth? How did I get a tears down pill? Unless the luck foot has somehow changed. Which I guess really wouldn't surprise me. I'm gonna be so rich. <laughs> I'm gonna be so rich. These tears these tears are way too big already and they're not even red. And then I get a tears up pill. I think that technically is a net gain, but I am super confused right now. Super confused and probably way too powerful. Too powerful for my own good. Also, I'm not sure how exactly I'm getting spiders to spawn. The little spider minions. Is it... It's gotta be... One of the items I have. I'm not sure which, though. How peculiar. Alright, well I'm totally gonna bomb those and access that chest because it's worth four cents. There's a key. I'm happy to have that. Oh, and apparently that was a tinted rock that I didn't notice. Triple A battery. Trickle charge. No thanks. I'm going to go here first. It is the shop. And you know what? I'll buy the 9 volt. And the pill. Puberty. Do I just, like, not know what every pill is when I encounter it or something? Spider butt? Spider butt is okay, but I think I... Actually, I think I'd rather have spider butt than Tammy's head. They're both, they're both decent. Let's go with that. I think spider butt is probably just a bit better, though. Okay. Is there anything else I really want to do, though? Uh, oh no, I'll grab the HP upgrade. And just just quickly check on everything that I left behind. I don't think I really want that. No, no, I like what I have. And I'm not gonna well, you know what, I'll open this chest. It gives me infamy, which is a damage reduction, I believe. Excuse me. I don't even know what that does. The husk! Hello, husk. Wow, that was exceptionally easy. Here's my devil room, and I got an HP upgrade. There's dead cat again. 
I don't want that. I want the mark for sure. Another damage upgrade. These tears are so big, they really shouldn't be that large. Okay, I think this run is going extremely well. I'm on the fourth floor and I'm already just just annihilating everything. And these spiders do some percent of my damage, I know. I dislike that. Okay, sacrifice room. There's a boss trap room there, which I don't think I'm going to end up using. Or visiting. I mean, it's good to know it's there, sure, but... Look at the squashy face. Look at this stupid squashy face. Telepills. That's not what I wanted to do. And it teleports me into the item room. I had no keys, so I'm okay with that. Magic fingers pay to play. I do not understand what that did. Like, I seriously just don't know. Pay to play. Obviously, it took it, it took one of my uh, pennies. Some of my money. Yeah, but I don't know. That is the tick. I don't actually want the tick, even though it's pretty good. Because reasons, mostly. And by that, I mean because the tick can't come off if you put it on. Yeah, I got a key. That's nice. I can visit something. Or I can open that golden chest. Honestly, truly, I think it might just be worth my while to, uh... Just quick dash through everything. Oh, all oh right. You you inhale. Thought about that. Jesus juice damage and range up. I'm just over here shaking my head at how ridiculous this. Wait, didn't I already have the pentagram? So I I got. Oh no, I didn't. That was the previous run that I lost. I don't think I want either of these. These are both pretty good. Sister Maggie's okay. Guppy's paw is exceptionally good, but not particularly useful, I'll admit. You know what? Yeah, I'm just moving on. I think I'm already ready to face any final bosses, so... I'm just gonna skedaddle. Look at this. Look at this. I can just destroy things in one hit. Oh my god. And I don't even have all of the damage increasing items. Oh my god, I'm just imagining this with Polyphem Polyphemus. Holy shit. And also literal shit, I'm over here shooting literal shit with my face, with my face juice. <laughs> face juice. I am a super serious Let's Player, I swear it. How did I get five keys? The one problem I'm having with these super massive tiers is I can't see what's going on in front of me half the time. They're just like these, the splatter effects are just taking up the whole damn screen. Especially when it's super close like this. Look at that. It's a quarter of the whole room. That's nuts. I wonder if the lucky rock works on um, skulls too. Let's find out. Apparently breaking skulls gives you other things. The hanged man, flight for a room, wheel of fortune. Two of spades. I feel like the hangman is going to come in handy later. I have enough money to visit the shop and um, buy something from it. So as soon as I encounter the shop, I seriously just got two Hierophant cards. Oh my gosh. Oh, right, right. You guys have the lingery laser thing. I'm not going to go to the item room just yet because there was that two of spades card which doubles the amount of bombs that you have. So the more I can hold off on it... Yeah, see, the more keys I get, each of those is worth two keys. So I basically just picked up four keys. 
I will visit that room in due time. I wonder if it's possible to get a setup where you can't actually hit that thing over there. Moving on. Found the boss room at least. Let's see, what else is on the floor? Uh, there's an, uh, an unvisited room over here up to the left. I'll go that way. I'll go ahead and grab the two of spades and use it as soon as I've finished off the floor. I mean, everything short of the boss, anyway. Cute little bats. I can see forever. That's going to be useful, I think. Lock up. Two of sp Picked up the two of spades again. Look at all these spiders, though. And I might actually use the hangman to, um, to access that one red chest right there. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not gonna do that. I'll pop the two of spades now. Grab the hangman. Check this out. What are you? Bad gas. Can I get... Yeah. I'm gonna use the hangman to access that one red chest. I think it should be, I think it should be, it should be valuable. It should be a good time. I mean, I could also use it to access the curse room there and only take half a heart of damage. Yeah, see, that was definitely not worth it. Alright, well. Pills. Telepills? That's a speed upgrade. Bad gas. Telepills. And it takes me to the I am error room. Lovely. Did I seriously just get two I am error rooms in one run? That can't be right. And it gives me... Did I just accidentally skip the 99 bombs? I totally did. Dang it! Oh, whatever. Pop spider butt here because I don't... I'm not like super thrilled about fighting all these things individually. Arcade, okay. Could be cool. Could be cool. <laughs> that is the sound of Wallmasters. By that, I mean Mom's hand being awful. And scary. Very scary. I have enough keys, but I'm not going to bother. Yeah, no, I'm super psyched about this. Seriously, this this thing is a one-room charge because I have the, the 9 volt. I might as well use it every room with enemies. Like that. And just make some rooms extremely simple. Especially the big rooms. Yeah, suddenly some of these use items that were pretty bad before have, like, extra and more impressive functions. More money? That's cool. There's no reason to use it on this thing. That's an easy enemy to beat. This room, on the other hand... Some spiders do work. I'm on depths too, so when I go to fight Mom, I can't leave after I'm done. So I'm going to go back through the floor and look around some more. Two keys for a kajillion bombs. You know, that's just kind of mocking me, game. I had 99 bombs, and for some reason, I just completely missed them. Oh, well. Oh, what are you? Virgo, you feel refreshed and protected. I'm guessing that probably healed me a bit. Okay, this looks interesting. Mom's key, less is now more, plus two keys. I forget exactly what that means. I think, well, obviously it means I'm going to get more keys from now on, but... Jam the donation machine, that's cool. Okay, looks like there's a few more unexplored rooms down the... I didn't want to do that. Who cares? I have plenty of keys, and I now have a bunch more money. 
So whatever, right? Key for a card. Might be worth it. Yeah, this is this is working out pretty well. That is a boss trap room that I should have looked at before I tried to attack it. The magician. You know, that might actually be pretty useful. I'm going to go back over to the, uh, arcade the arcade because with the luck foot, this thing cannot fail. I immediately get the crystal ball. Which I'll just use the one time and then move on. <laughs> And you know, I think I think it's time to accidentally use keys. Time to go fight mom. Let's do this. Let's go beat her up. Because she's awful and stuff. Legitimate reasons, I swear. <laughs> go ahead and pop the magician card because I can. I'm gonna wait until I see more than two segments of do that. Yeah, this is, um, that was certainly pretty easy. Ooh, I could do a boss rush. Safety pin. Evil plus range plus shot speed up. Oh, gosh. That's frightening. Do I do the boss rush? Let's see what they have, what it has. So the way this works is I get to pick one of these, and if I take it, I, um, have to fight every boss. I don't remember exactly what this thing here to the left did. It was E. coli, I think. Stem cells is HP and shot speed. Sigma is HP and damage. This thing over here, the odd mushroom, is crazy huge fire rate boost. Do I want to do this? Screw it. It is also a little bit of a damage down, but it but that really shouldn't affect much. And I'm going to use Spider Butt, because I have the, uh, the battery. So I should regain the charge on it at some point. Relatively soon. Okay. Peep and the Duke of Flies. What a, what a terrifying combination. I am being very sarcastic. I also really did not mean to get hit by that. But then when do you... It's not very often that you really mean to be hit by something in this game, so... Ooh, what do I know? Blast Assist! You're being annoying. Stop it. Stop being annoying. Be melted by my insane fire rate tears and crap. There's a soul heart. I do see the eternal heart over there, and I've noticed that bosses seem to have a pretty high, or at least relatively high, probability of um, dropping eternal hearts. So I am more than willing to just hold off on it and not pick it up until later. Plus, if for some reason I do end up losing all of my soul hearts, I can grab that thing and it'll count as an HP upgrade and I won't have lost it in the battle. Monstro and Chubb. Chubb, I don't like you. Monstro, you're like super dead. Or not Chubb, Chad. This is Chubb. Now Chubb got owned. Gertie... Gertie also got owned. Monstro 2 and Gish. This is... Yeah, I'm just like so super mega powerful. This, this is crazy. I seriously don't even have all the damage upgrades I could have. The Widow... The Widow's gonna melt. And by that I mean hit me and then melt. And Pin appeared... Pin had a little cameo and Pin then died. Look at this, I'm one-shotting every segment of the hollow. That is insane. This is insane. I am enjoying this. Bloat. Bloat, can you just not, please? Yeah, that's right. Completely miss. Apparently I killed the mask of part of the mask of infamy at some point and didn't notice. Take out pestilence. Famine. Uh, war and death are next. Death is going to be considerably annoying in an arena this large, so I'll do what I can to take him out. There we go. Of course, Death does still have the uh, Noble Steed that's flying around. 
There's war back again. Yeah, I am starting to lose a lot of my soul hearts. Okay, the fallen and the headless horseman. Not really a concern. The headless horseman, okay, the creep that it spewed out. Proven to be a pain. Yeah, you need to die. Kane's other eye has appeared in the basement. Interesting. So there's the eternal heart. I managed to protect my soul hearts well enough. And I got the peeper out of all that. I can't say I'm particularly enthused about getting the peeper, but whatever. And yeah, there really isn't any other reason to hang out here. Look at all these red hearts. I wish I had a temperance card. Basically a guaranteed blood bank. Alright, but that's going to do it for depths too. That's the boss rush, by the way. The boss rush is nuts, and I love it. It, like, it actually gives you a chance to see how broken you can break things. And then how, and then like make it useful, make the brokenness fun. Well, make it more fun, applicable. That's the word I want. Make it applicable. Right, right. This is still a one-room charge, so I might as well use it at all times. Now, did I just see what I think I did? No, I didn't. But I did get a bunch of money out of that. I don't think I need the money, but I got it. So whatever, right? Right. Slow speed is going to be pretty useful versus these things. Some keys for good measure. There's some bombs down there. Don't care. Why not? More money. Looks like one of those kinds of rocks explodes into some bullets when you uh, break it. That's interesting and good to know, I guess. Yeah, I am way too powerful. This is ridiculous. Super mega ridiculous. And then I just casually miss a lot. Double Loki. Okay. I do not expect any trouble. No trouble. Squeezy tears upgrade. Two soul hearts. This is ridiculous. Three red chests and a devil room. All of which contain troll bombs of some sort. I love you too, game. Love you too. Alright, let's just get out of here. Move on. Womb part two or utero? Utero. That shouldn't be too bad. Pop spider butt. Do a bunch of damage to all these things before they get the chance to, you know, move around. Wreck my day. There is a telepills up here. I'm actually totally, totally okay with taking this. For no particular reason, really, but... Mostly because I can, I suppose. And that is indeed the sound of, um... More of those things. Which can just go away and die. You know what? I have a telepills. I'm gonna investigate this. See if I get anything cool. I absolutely did not, so let's just get out. And it took me straight to the boss fight. Okay, that's that's fine. Mom's heart is not gonna last long. Oh, I can't hit it from there. Okay, that's fine. We can hit it from there though. Yep. Get wrecked. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go to Shoal because this time I think I can actually succeed. And by this time, I mean the last time I did, I, um, uh, it was, uh, in one of the, uh, unrecorded runs. Oh, no, it took me to the cathedral. Okay, okay, this is interesting. This might actually be valuable, but I'm not going to do it. Alright, you know, oops, that is not a good way to start the cathedral, uh, cathedral, cathedral attempt. So did that actually do anything to all these ghosts, or no? I don't think it did. Yeah, it looks like they have to be completely corporeal, so to speak. Before spider butt will be... Will be blah, 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 I can't talk! Will be active, or will work. Come on, Famine. That's a, that's a good horseman. Be dead. 
pop spider butt again. I think that's the first time I've seen the little uh, mini gish looking things in so far in playing this game. Death! Death, you can just like, oh, ow, go away, that's what you can do. Stop taking my health. Found the boss, though. So this is where I get to fight Isaac, and I'm honestly not sure what to expect, but I'm going to jump right into it. Spider butt. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was... I mean, I'm doing a crap load of damage. So I think I should be okay. Whoa! Oh, that was pretty. I like the wave of rays of light. Yeah, it looks like the safest place when that happens is going to be complete. It's going to be exactly against the wall. All right. Well, I beat Isaac. I beat the cathedral. Cutscene. All right. Now that was entertaining and very scary. I'm actually going to pay really close attention here, because I want to know who made the music in this game. Artists... Ridiculon, Matthias Bossi, and John Evans. Dang. Danny Baranowski made such amazing music for Super Meat Boy and the original Binding of Isaac. But, these guys are pretty sweet, too. The coin bag has appeared in the basement. All right, that's going to do it. Ooh, part of the Polaroid has appeared. Sweet. But that's going to do it for episode two of whatever the hell you want to call this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Etc. You get it, right? <laughs>